number six.
Brother Otis Jokes. Brother Otis, Otis. Oh. They're hysterical. Oh, man, not Brother Otis Jokes. <laughs> I'm not implying anything. Brother Otis tells the corniest jokes I've ever heard. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! hey. <gasps> well, we're helping Miss Donna fix the decorations for the fellowship hall. And Carl was just telling me about some Brother Otis jokes. Brother Otis jokes. I love Brother Otis jokes. Tell me one. Tell me one. Okay. Here. What does a girl from fly colors into? Oh, man. Thanksgiving 
get started about the pilgrims? All I have to work is on the door. I don't. And I'm just going to talk about the pilgrims. I, yes, I agree. I agree. Those are great things. Um, and and getting together with our family and friends and maybe in a few of Brother Otis jokes. But that's not the actual reason that uh, we celebrate Thanksgiving. And in fact, it wasn't actually meant to be a celebration to start with at all. Um, it was a day that was set aside for thoughtful meditation on God, how God had brought the pilgrims through such a horrible ordeal that they went through. They, can you just imagine sailing across the Atlantic and it took nine weeks. Can you imagine how seasick they were? And even some of them died. Some of them even died. Well, it's because they weren't free to worship God the way they needed to and wanted to in their own country, in their homeland. So they were willing to risk being seasick and traveling across the ocean to a new world. What about freedom of religion? Is there the Constitution? Yes, but the Constitution wasn't written when the pilgrims were here. That was much later. Right here? So, the pilgrims. Them. Well, some of them died during that ocean voyage, like I told you, and then they finally made it here. And the, even the ones that survived faced a, faced a very harsh winter, and so harsh that even more of them died. Probably as many as half of them died. And the years even that followed were very tough on them. But they had God's uh, great comfort, his encouragement, and his blessings through those years. So, in 1623, a grateful Governor William Bradford, Governor Bradford, he decided to commemorate this, the great harvest that year. Thanksgiving, but 
I know for a fact it is not in February. No, it isn't. That's because Abraham Lincoln. Now come on. Abraham Lincoln changed the date again. In 1863, while the nation was still in the middle of the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln and the U.S. Congress established the first annual National Day of Thanksgiving on the last Thursday of November, and that's when we celebrate it today. The year that John Porter's poems have been filled with the blessings of fruitful fields and hopeful skies. In the midst of a civil war of unequal magnitude of servity, peace has been preserved with all nations. Order has been maintained. maintained. The laws have been respected and obeyed, and harmony has prevailed everywhere except in the theater and military conflict. No human council have devised nor have any mortal thing worked out these great things. They are the gracious gifts of the most high God, who while building us in anger for our sins, has never has remembered mercy. It has seemed to me that they should be solemn, revert with the great thing of wrong as with one heart and one voice by the whole American people. I do therefore invite my fellow citizens in every part of the United States and also those who are in foreign lands to set apart and reserve the last Thursday of next November next as a day of Thanksgiving to praise to be to our Beneficent Father who dwells in the heavens. <laughs> so, there you have it. Thanksgiving began in America as a way to thank God for his provision for the pilgrims. And it was reestablished to honor God for granting us victory in the Revolutionary War. And finally it became an annual celebration during the Civil War to acknowledge God's grace and blessings upon our nation. And that's what we're supposed to do each year when we come together and thank God for what he's done for us over the past year and for our history. That's such a good idea. Why didn't anyone think of it before? Well, they did. King David, back in the Old Testament, he wrote about giving thanks in the book of Psalms. And that was thousands of years ago. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the lands, King David said. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name, for the Lord is good. <laughs> so, promise me that when you sit down to that wonderful meal on Thursday with your family and friends, that you'll remember all the things that I've told you about. Think about uh, thanking God for his provisions for the pilgrims. And, and then think about... And then think about how we, how they honored God during the Civil War, even, and even into the, uh, even made it a national holiday during the Civil War. And think about even back in the Old Testament, King David writing about Thanksgiving. So, y'all think we're about finished with these? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I'll hear you take no. this one for me. Oh, and I dropped that one. Fun juice. Well, maybe just a little bit. I'm taking all these. Thank you for celebrating Thanksgiving 2019 with us. Please stand as we sing hymn number 630 and remain standing for benediction by Keith the Queen.
fight uh, for the kids and, and everyone involved in this crazy uh, first and foremost role by you. I ask you to be with the ones that can be with us tonight. I just pray that you be with them, watch over them, be with the ones that, been, that we all know that's on our prayer list. We lift all of them, all of them up to you, Lord, and ask for a healing hand, uh, be with the caregivers, and continue to be with the men and women who fight for our freedom each and every day. Continue to be with this, this little church. Bless each and every one here in this entire congregation. But most of all, I just pray that you give us every sin. All these things, man, I should pray Amen. 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 Amen.